Hold on. I don't understand <laughs> one of these one of these takes. Watermelon is amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll read that out in a second. You sh- Yeah, keep that to yourself. Yeah, you keep your opinion to yourself. Ouch. So, summer is starting. Is that all? And so is the <laughs> podcast. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Today, we're going to be going over some hot takes in preparation for the summer hot weather very soon since this is Texas. <laughs> and these takes, they're hot. Let me tell you. This is Amelia. This is Reyna. This is Matthew. This is Alejandro. Let's get this started. Watermelon is amazing when it's good, but horrible when it's not. And I agree. <laughs> watermelon tastes great when it's yummy, but if you get a bad when slice yummy? or bite of watermelon, it's literally disgusting. Wait, describe Wait, your I, yummy. I'm so confused right describe now. Describe like How? the yummy watermelon. Like You mean like crispy and juicy? Yeah, crispy, juicy compared cold? to the... Yeah, cold okay. compared to the... Soft, soggy, little warm watermelon. There's some fruits that, like, that is okay, kind of bad. Uh, like bananas. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like bananas. Like oh, they're whatever. good. Well, to me, I like them pretty ripe, and I'm fine with them when they're like old and soggy. But like watermelon, soggy is absolutely not. You know. Okay, I feel like, in my opinion, it's not like it's not like gross and like or like terrible when it when it's like a little bit soggy, but like. I will have to agree. Like when it's crispy, like that's when it's at its best. Like um, you know what I mean, though, right? I don't know. I like them either way. Like when they're soggy, they're. I don't think they're bad. And like okay, they still well taste have, the same. You have to have a strong opinion and start an argument. Okay, strong oh. opinion. Okay, Watermelon like is wrong. bad. Just I always. Okay, you're wrong. Oh just my god. Wait, can we relate this to bananas though? Like Raina was bananas saying. Oh no, good. we don't have to relate this to bananas. because like bananas are like the complete opposite. Because whenever they're old. And like soggy, like and brown looking, that's when they're the best. No, I never no, eat them. I like no. green bananas. I'm green? I I do <laughs> like bananas when they're mostly green. Like the tips and the bottom is a little green. That's oddly specific. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's true. I only like once bananas are fully yellow, I won't eat it. I like what? yellow, <laughs> like the Bro, color what? of your water bottle, but like a bunch of brown spots on it. Wait, can we go back to Alejandro just not liking watermelon? Oh, I just had a bad experience with the watermelon. It's kind of gross. I don't want to share it. Did you open a seed or something? No, it was my us? cousin. He like shoved a watermelon. No, <laughs> he, he regurgitated his watermelon, so I can't. Oh, <laughs> I can't oh. eat watermelon anymore. Yeah, that makes oh. sense. Oh, that's really sad, though. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for your loss of well, watermelon lots of great food. Like and liking. bad watermelon. And my cousin's fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Oh, oh yeah, we really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, seventy-eight degrees is the perfect temperature for summer. Um, Why specifically nah. seventy-eight? I I agree with that one. It's never seventy-eight degrees in Texas <laughs> for summer, but I want it to be because those are the nicest days in such. Oh, nice weather. so you mean like outside, not like in your house? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean well, I mean like because like you can't really. I mean like I don't know, like air conditioning or like just like being out in the sun. Out in the sun. I feel like it, in the sun, it's different because like you could like you know. Bathe, bathe the sunbathe or whatever, and then there's like the shade, which is like a little bit cooler, ten, 10 degrees to be exact. I mean, I like anything sure. below 100, and <laughs> even below 90s. Hot weather is just hot weather sucks. I, I know agree. some people like it, but it's even swimming in pools, I swim during the winter, like when it's like 40 <laughs> degrees outside, <laughs> and oh I enjoy why? it. If you're listening to this, um, please don't swim in your 40, 40 degree house. Um, Wait, cold. House. Don't, don't, mean, don't swim in your house. Yeah, don't I swim mean, in your house, that's everybody. That's just good advice all around. <laughs> if you don't stand there for too long, it, you don't, like, get frostbite. So, you know. How'd you learn that, Matthew? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways. Why would you, like, torture yourself like that? No, it feels good. Like, the cold water. It, like, oh, do you know. take like cold, cold showers? No, I ate them. Okay, what? <laughs> what? What's what? the difference? But, like, <laughs> swimming while it's cold is nice because you're, like, moving around a lot. But cold showers, I can never get warm. In any way. Well, you can move your feet a little. Yeah. Well, what's your default like house temperature? Like, what's it? What's it usually at? Seventy-two. Whatever yeah. my dad puts it at. <laughs> yeah, we don't really have a default. It's just all over the place. Oh my god, y'all need to get some Oh, look, he's saying. No. Well, I mean, okay. like, what temperature do you like your house to be at? Fifties, exactly. Fifties. Oh my gosh. You should, yeah. you Bro, what is up with you? Like, <laughs> I think we. I think we keep ours at like seventy-four. 
Ew. For men's is living in like Antarctica right now. Yeah, mine's <laughs> no, seventy three. Fifty is the best temperature like all around. If no, it goes, you know why you think that, Matthew? Where were you born? Where that, were you? That born? doesn't matter. So no, say, right say right now. Come on. But where were New you born? York. But yeah, anyway, New like York. if there's wind, it it sucks. Fifty degrees with wind, no one likes wind in general. But fifty degrees, no wind, it's the perfect temperature. So your hot take is um, fifty gr- degrees is the perfect temperature. What's your opinion okay. on temperature? What's your favorite temperature? I mean, 78's pretty good. I, I like warmer weather if you're just kind of standing there and doing nothing. But me like and my what? cousin, well, just just standing around, hanging, Dang, hanging outside. Because what we'll do is, like, we'll go to my my grandpa's, uh, we'll go to Appa's, and we'll just hang out and usually cook. And that's fine until the cousins are like, hey, you want to go skateboarding? And then we're all dying because it's really mm, hot. Yeah, And then that's when stroke. you wish you had 78 degrees as yeah, your temperature. Yeah, pretty much. I guess, you know, it depends on what you're doing for the weather. Okay. Um, oh, I was actually gonna like wait till you called on me, but oh wow. no, it's okay. We can <laughs> move on. Yeah, next oh. question. It really doesn't. Anyways, no, that's okay. We, no, we just don't gonna need to know my temperature. I was gonna say uh, in between. Well, if we're talking like inside, air conditioning, like between seventy six to eighty, but outside I would say like ninety. Seventy six like, to eighty. Ninety. Yes. Inside. Inside. Yes. Do y'all like it hot? My, r- my house is hot. No. My house is yeah, hot. Yeah, I don't like, like, I feel uncomfortable when my house is, I don't like, like, when I sleep over at your house, I wake up with, like, sweat, sweat <laughs> on my neck, and it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't go over there. But, like, I think it's yeah. just because I'm so, like, one time she slept over at my house, and I sleep with my fan on, and my house is, like, pretty cold. I was, it's smaller. I was freezing cold. And sh- I think she woke up, and she was, like, she was, like, I think I stole all your blankets or something like that because we had we put extra blankets on my bed. Okay, next hot take. Yeah, fireworks are trash. Opinions. Okay. You know what? Okay, you well obviously wait, no. never launched a firework from Oppa's backyard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, it hits different. Whoa. <laughs> Let's okay. get into them. Raina, I after this, I just want to know why you don't like fireworks. But come on, have you ever had an experience where it's like the Fourth of July? And you're trying to find some random place to see fireworks with your family. Uh. And all the parking lots are just packed. <gasps> and you have to keep driving around in the same area over and over again until you finally get a spot. And then you finally get to see the f- fireworks. It's very anxiety-inducing. I guess. Okay. Uh, that's like out. an experience, okay? No, I but like stressed out. If you think about like the environmental impact. No one cares about that. No one cares about <laughs> it. I just want to <laughs> see things blow okay, up in the sky. Okay, but like, they cause so much <laughs> pollution, and they're also like really <laughs> dangerous. Like I've seen, I've seen the birds. Oh, about I was the birds, guys. You know, we the can forget the pigeons for a little while. <laughs> Bright colors go boom. Okay. Like, that's all I care about. I'm just saying, they're, when, like, they're self, like, done, like, by families and stuff, they get dangerous. Like, I was in Galveston, and somebody's fireworks fell over, and they were, like, uh, popping, like, right next to us. They were, like, the big ones. And, like, we're literally getting shot up <laughs> by fireworks. <laughs> like, I mean, Texas. I do think they're Yeehaw. beautiful, though. And, like, and I saw them, like, in concert, and that was really cool. But if they're do- being done, like, by, like, a family or something and not, like, professionally, then that's where I'm, like, ooh. Yeah. I don't know about that. I like how pretty fireworks are and the fact that, like, I love key like, the sound that they make, like, the... <laughs> I think it's really funny. <laughs> and I like when you can record it and speed it up. I think that's funny, too. But anyways, I don't like having to clean it up afterwards because, you know, like, but, like, you ever lived or not lived on a farm? <laughs> but gone to, like, a family family member who has a large plot of land and like you you light your own fireworks you see know. with the fireworks that i've done at least they they left like a bunch of stuff on the floor yeah ash mm. so we would have to like clean it because it's like a mm. farm and we don't want animals to eat it but that's the one part i just did not like taking care of <laughs> who wrote <laughs> hot coffee is the best coffee no matter the season? Oh, that's from the New York Times article. Oh. I just, I just. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that what we're moving on to? Bro, coffee? I'm the complete opposite. N- coffee sucks oh. in general. No one. Oh, oh hold yeah, up. Take, take, nah. the ca- take the take. I don't know. Coffee, first of all, coffee just tastes bad. And it doesn't even make me feel energized. Like after I, I drink coffee, I expect to be able to stay up or something. Wait, but so if you're, if you want like a boost of caffeine, what do you drink? Uh, nothing really. He nothing swims in the pool for ten minutes. <laughs> 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 just tastes so bad. I don't get how people genuinely enjoy drinking coffee. No. Sure. I agree. I don't, I don't like <laughs> the way coffee tastes, and it doesn't. I mean, I get jittery from coffee. I just don't like the way it tastes, and it makes, it makes my stomach. Hurt. 
personally, I don't like hot drinks at all, like any season at all. Really? In winter, if I'm offered like a hot drink, hot chocolate. Yes. Yeah, I don't like hot chocolate. You don't well, like hot chocolate, no. <laughs> but you it's like coffee because it's hot. <laughs> If a hot chocolate is <laughs> cold, <laughs> we'll do a cold takes in winter or something. <laughs> no, I just don't like, I feel, I feel it's so weird. Like, you can feel like sit in your stomach. Yeah, it feels so weird. That's why I like, I like ice. I, I drink iced coffee um, all seasons. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, Even I'm not a hot like coffee person. Like, I remember I was driving on my way to school and it was so cold, but I was still sipping my little cold mm-hmm. coffee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like hot coffee, but like, if I'm being honest, I'm going to prefer iced coffee, like, any time. You know what I'm learning? What? I'm more and more of a bland person. Because, like, all yeah. these things I'm, like, it's in the just middle no about. Opinion. I'm, oh, yeah, just, we, I'm a very boring know. person. Well, then, what do, y'all, what do y'all drink for, like, okay, what Water. do you drink for, like, a caffeine boost? Oh, my God. Nothing. Nothing? Okay, well, what do you drink, like, as a regular Bev? Water. <laughs> um, water and tea and milk, I guess. So. Milk? I'm sorry. Milk? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you guys like not, straight up do you milk. Guys I just kind of like got milk? surprised. Do you yes. go to IHOP and order no, 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 just no. milk? Like there, there is a carton of milk. I will pour some out and just drink it. I don't Wait. know. I don't know why people don't oh, like that. How do you not? That like That is a hot milk? take. Okay, that's a controversial. But you got a lot of hot takes today, Matthew. I'm Girl, sorry. Like, I don't know, I don't know if I can agree with yet. you anymore. What? I haven't even gone to the worst one yet. What's the worst one? Oh yeah. Wait, wait, Lucy. Whenever I say milk, can you put an echo on the back so it's like milk, milk, milk? Yeah, that's funny. Okay, well, I just need you know the drama because okay. that's really bad, Matthew. I'm sorry. That's uh, that's really a red like flag. Milk, like, that's embarrassing. That's like honestly. not liking wa- milk and water on are on the same level. Like well, what? Like milk in terms and water. Of, <laughs> in terms no. of you needing Whoa. them and them being like normal things to drink, they're like on the same level. A normal milk thing to drink grosses me out. Like Yo, I can guarantee I Matthew has the strongest bones out of everybody here. <laughs> 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 well, you're right about that. Because <laughs> like milk just grosses me out for some reason. Oh, Wait, <laughs> hold like, up. Can we talk about Soda? Soda? I just for I just re- oh, so you like a the north. You like see. the weirdos? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you say she, no, oh. she's from Chicago. Yeah. Lucy says pop and not soda, apparently. This is mm. disgusting. Bubbly? Yeah, she's kind of bubbly on too. Actually. Yeah, pop, <laughs> cola. No, I don't know. There's a lot of soda things. cola or weird. That's like calling cars Toyota. Like, oh hey, look at that Toyota. And it's like obviously a Honda or it's something. It's like a Ford. Like, There's <laughs> just like Ford F one fifty. Imagine <laughs> calling a Pepsi or something a cola. Who calls all sodas cola in general? Let's let's go on to a take that I don't think Matthew will like. But I agree with I'm not gonna lie. Not be my dogs. Swimming okay. pools are just large like large pools of mold pee wait. <laughs> hey. Oh, I already uh, right off the bat I disagree. Swimming pool. I'm just so gonna say like out. swimming pools are gross. Not if you clean them. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what kind of pool you got kills going like on. Kills like 99 percent of bacteria. Yeah, I think home swimming pools. I'm I'm like okay with, but like we say like inner H two O or um yeah, public pool. Right, if bad. you like Honestly, Wolf Lar- Lodge. Orange. <laughs> If I'm being honest, if somebody like pees in the pool and you shock your pool with like chlorine, the next day, like there's not going to be no pee. It's just going to eat up all that bacteria. <laughs> like I don't know, bro. I don't it'll know be like that. sterile by the next day. Like, I think I don't it's know. just like like uh, NRH2O and all that. They be br- people be bringing like their babies in the pool that have like poop <laughs> and like people's like nasty feet have been in the pool and like hot dogs too. Like people were bringing the food. Um, I feel like pools. They're like fine. I mean, they're dirty, but I don't really care. Cause I feel like pools are a weird thing for people to all agree on that they're dirty. Like, there's so many things in our daily lives, like doorknobs and just I don't toilets. Know, Ooh, you're right about that. And stuff like just regular objects that we touch or air that we're inhaling that's almost as dirty as pools. But it's really only pools that people care about for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because it's continuously touching you. Like when you're in a pool. You can't just like, well, like stop. Is it is like the dirt touching you, or is like the water mo- molecule touching you that has the dirt attached to it? But <laughs> like, oh. you know, like is it like, are you like around it? Okay, all I'm trying to say is that like, pools can be clean. It just depends. Like, if you're in a public pool, they're probably not gonna like clean it as often, or like maybe they'll, like I don't know, clean it every night. Um, but like if you're like in your own pool, you're, you're not going to be using it like 24 seven. So I feel like public pool is like a big difference for I sure. I think pools just gross me out because there's no fast way of getting that off of you. 
Like with a doorknob, you can touch it, and then I I, I frequently wash my hands because I go pee a lot. But, <laughs> so it doesn't really like freak me out that much. But like with a pool, like you go into the pool water, you get out, you dry. It's now dried onto you, and then you have to wait to take a shower. Okay, when you describe it like that. <laughs> oh, right. It's just like I just feel so like grimy afterwards. It's like when you sweat. Like there's like you can't like quickly take it off of you because like <laughs> it just makes you feel weird. I guess like I don't know. Kind of like Matthew said. Like we're already touching like a bunch of gross stuff like on our everyday life. So it's like, is it really that gross to just like be in a pool? Well, what do you think about that, Alejandro? You haven't really said much. No, no, that's that's about it. I honestly, I spaced <laughs> out. <laughs> um, yeah, me too, bro. <laughs> yeah, um, really the only thing I gotta say is, if, as long as you clean your pool, I don't have a problem with pools. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem. I still think they're a little gross. Like mm. I hate the ocean. Like I hate swimming in the ocean. You know, anyone? Mm. But I can, mm. I can, no, I, can no. I agree that with that. It's gross. <laughs> I have a fear of like water, like <laughs> ocean, not water. The ocean. I have a fear of the ocean. <laughs> I, you know, I, I kicked a fish on accident. <gasps> I couldn't see it. And I just brushed against my leg and I panicked and Girl, left. You're scared of Aww. watermelon. You're scared of the ocean. I'm scared of watermelon. It just grosses me out. You're scared of watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, like, what doesn't gross you out? You know what? That's a fair point to make. <laughs> I feel like the ocean, though, like, you get, like, a, a fun experience out of it. I mean, I, but you do, like, feel really grimy after from, like, the salt that um, dries up on your skin. But... If anything, like, it depends on the, like, ocean. Like, if you're going to Galveston, like, yeah, I'm going to feel like crap after I get out. But if I'm going to, like, the Bahamas or, like, freaking beach, like, the beautiful beach of Cayman Islands or something, I'm probably going to feel, like, I don't know, like, refreshed. Like, wow, I just went to a clear blue water ocean. I don't know, bruh. You know, you know what I think should stay blue? Jeans. I agree. Oh, wow, that was a nice transition, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like that. No, because this hot take was, like, white jeans are better than blue Ew, jeans. But I don't agree jeans. with white that jeans. at all. Like, okay, what? black jeans. No way. Brown jeans, like, those are all fine. I have those, but white jeans? White no jeans, I just feel like they're the F tier. I mean, I can't keep anything clean, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. So. Wait, there's a stain on your shirt, actually. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> 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 he didn't even look down, but he wasn't faced <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> but, like... If I'm being honest, of course I'm gonna 100% enjoy blue jeans better because they're just classic. Yeah, but like white stupid. jeans, can't hate on white Honestly, jeans. Like, sorry, Amelia, but if you wear white jeans, that's that's not that's that's not a flex. That's that's like wow, you don't. You, no. What do you a do flex? all day? Like, how do you keep those clean? Wait, wait, how would it be a flex? No, it's though? it's not a flex. Oh, if it's you wear, not a flex. If you wear white okay. jeans, that's like like congratulations, you keep them clean. You don't do anything. Wait, so then that is kind no, of a flex that I can keep them clean. I mean, I'm not a dirty well, person. Well, no, because then I would just assume you don't do anything all day. <laughs> if they're, if no, they're clean, oh. I wear or you just go really clean places. So. When anytime I do wear something white, you, you ha instantly have this wave of anxiety of I better not get this dirty. You know, is it is it just me or is it like when you wear anything white, you're just prone to get getting dirty? I, I agree. like yeah. it's like suddenly yeah. wow, I drop everything I'm holding. I know lunch. exactly what you mean because then all of a sudden, like you see a, a pencil like eraser land on your shirt, and then you're like, "Get off of me now!" And then it leaves a little like smudge on your shirt or something, and then it just bothers you for the rest of the day. Oh, sounds like this has happened before. Oh, <laughs> oddly <laughs> specific. <laughs> yeah. It's just really annoying. You know what? To what happened? Wow, to right I see how it is. Oh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I was trying to transition. I'm trying to leave. I was girl. gonna do my transition. Oh, what's your transition? <laughs> I was like, okay, it's kind of annoying trying to keep white clothes clean and you know what else is annoying dogs <gasps> no dogs no. oh i don't annoying. i don't agree that's a real hot like, take not sir. only are they annoying my dog's white like, so <laughs> <laughs> it's, like it's two things you don't like like the color and then the dog no, like <laughs> because you could get a stain on my dog or something. I don't know. <laughs> a stain on your dog and, like she gets muddy <laughs> <laughs> wait why don't you it. like dogs sir they're overrated like there are okay. people who genuinely yeah. think that dogs are better than people, and I just can't agree with that. Like, <laughs> I no. Mean, <laughs> no. But if you I really agree. think about it, like, oh uh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, but like, okay, but what if like dogs are the dominant species and like they were wearing clothes and we were just like <laughs> naked, and, like they were they're little pets, That'd be a right? Really weird society because like, they can't. They don't if have anything. <laughs> they could they could be like i mean they could be better than us and i mean when you think about it like who has done more harm dogs or humans 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 i mean they could be but they're not 
objectively. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I what's going to bring you more joy? Like a bunch of like random strangers or like a bunch of random puppies? Not random every human being in your life sure. is a random stranger, though. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have more joy talking to my friends than I do like, my. I mean, I love my dog. Like I take care of her and all that. But at the end of the day, I'm going to enjoy having a sleepover more with my friends than I am my dog. <laughs> I don't really have to clean up the hair or feed random strangers. I know. You, can just talk well, like you don't have to bathe them, too. <laughs> and they talk back. I don't have to take them for walks or, like, care about them. <laughs> no. Okay, you There's no right. responsibility there. Yeah, because if you get, like, if you see a bunch of puppies, like, then you have the responsibility of, like, taking care of some. Uh, but if you see a group of strangers, you're like, okay, <laughs> walks <laughs> away, you know? Well, I mean, like, if you had a choice to, like, hang out with, ha- like, hang out with them in an enclosed room for, like, an hour, you, w- you would pick people, like, random people, no, instead I'd of, like, I'd puppies. Yeah, I'd, 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 yeah. I feel like that's a little bit weird. Puppies? I would Wait, pick puppies. Wait, pet puppies? No. no. no why would I wouldn't want to pick up their poop, though, but, like, uh, but but like I mean, what, what if there's poop. people to do it for you? Like, just, like, just I mean, playing I, with puppies for an hour. I don't know if I'd mind too much. I'd... I just think you'd have more fun being in a room full of puppies. Yeah. For like an hour, though? Yeah. For an hour. Why not? I feel like just 30 minutes puppies. would be a pretty good time. Because <laughs> I no, feel like an hour, be an hour. I'd be <laughs> like, okay, get away. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're annoying me right now. <laughs> but, like, they take naps. I mean, like, I feel like humans, if you were to stay with them for an hour, they'd want you to, like, talk for an hour. You know, like, no, I the, take naps the people too. wouldn't take a nap. Yeah, but it's easier to take a nap with a puppy than a random stranger. I'm just you're saying. Right. <laughs> One of those situations is weird. Yeah. Well, no, I have a question. If you guys, okay, I have a situation, or not a situation, a question. If you had to give, I don't know, like 20 bucks to some guy on, homeless guy on the road, or you see a puppy and you take him in, would you take the puppy in, or would you give the dude, the dude 20 bucks? Take the Why puppy in. Why can't you do both? Ex- no, 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 like, hypothetically, if you could only do one, like, it just amazes me that people would choose to get a puppy, nurse them, and take care of them, and then just give a dude 20 bucks. Like, it's just <laughs> so foreign. Well, like, I feel like, if anything, like, I mean, you don't have to give, you don't necessarily have to give money to homeless people. Like, you could give them, like, conversation, okay, just give them, like, a smile or whatever. Like, a puppy, like, on the other hand, will probably, like, die, you know? Like, it's, it's probably not going to be able to live on its own like a homeless person can. I think I would more so do it for like a selfish reason of just like my enjoyment. Like <laughs> I get a puppy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know. It's, I just know it's not just me because my parents, they grew up, they both grew up on farms, which is weird. And they both <laughs> had multiple dogs. And even they think dogs are annoying and they will never get one. I think they're annoying, but an, an annoying that's lovable. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. That's what I think about Lucy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dang. That's all <laughs> specific. She can't even defend herself right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was your defense? I mean, I she could just... Yeah, I can't mic. agree. I can't agree that dogs are like... That I hate dogs. Just, I ha- I can't agree that I hate well, dogs. I don't hate them. That hate's a very strong word. I just... Strongly oh, what, like what did you say? You, that you don't like... You just don't like them? Oh, no, they're overrated. They're That's overrated. Yeah. You would okay. just prefer to not have a dog. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. That's how I feel about like flying squirrels. <laughs> what? Because oh, you know random. how some people want flying squirrels as like a pet, and I'm like, ah, that feels like a lot to maintain. Hot take. What's y'all's least favorite kind of ice cream? Mint. I don't know why people mint. like oh, it. I love I mint. Like mint. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh. Like you, you can't, you, you can't mint? just no. You, like I imagine drinking my peppermint tea, and I'm like, what if this was ice cream? And I almost. It's repulsive. <laughs> but you like, like, but you like milk and peppermint. That's chip. literally ice cream. No, no, no. Gr- I don't mix them together. No, it's like literally <laughs> like people have tea and put milk in it. Like, why wouldn't you like that? Well, That's your two favorite drinks together. No, nah, no, I don't know. Sad, <laughs> by the way. Like Matthew, when was the last time you had mint chocolate chip? The first time I ever had it when I was like a kid. No, like, yeah. This is disgusting. Yeah, exactly. Try it I thought again. it would no. you don't like it. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So you know that's how in summer people travel a lot, and you know how traveling for babies like under three years old is basically free. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I think they should cost more to travel because they like literally affect everyone else's visit. Visit, you know, like, like on a plane, you know how babies are basically free, right? Because like, what are you gonna pay? Like, you're not getting them a seat. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. But then they're crying and stinking up the whole plane for literally everyone else. 
Like, that is so annoying. Or at Disneyland, I guess it's more so, like, I don't know. Like, it's meant for kids, too. But, like, just, like, little infant babies, they're, they're not going to remember it. Like, they're literally not going to remember it, you know? I think that's the whole point, though. Yeah. In my opinion, like, I think that they should cost less t- to, like, um, be, like, you know, get, like, seats to, I don't know, trains and planes and stuff. But, like, at the same time, like, obviously they're going to maybe, like, cry, you know. They're babies. They don't know what's going on. But they take up so much less room. And, like, like would you get a seat for a baby or would you get a seat for, like, um, like a grown person? We when, like, the right. baby can be carried by we the mother or the father. Babies. <laughs> taxing wow. babies. Taxing babies. Taxing babies. You know how our, our nation is in terrible debt. If Dude. we tax Bro, every Rada's baby. trying to sell babies right now. She's like, <laughs> yeah, can, we, really can like we, like, them. up the <laughs> interest rate <laughs> on like these? Every baby that goes did into you just, Disneyland. Did you have a bad experience with an infant at I some point? I just don't like babies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't like you right now. They probably don't, and I'm fine with that. Babies have never been my cup of tea. Because I have little sugars. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Like, what? What's in that thing? <coughs> it's like it's a Lucas. Jokes. It's a Lucas uh, candy. I thought that was hand sanitizer. I was, I was watching you because you just like poured some of that, and I was like, oh, it's hand sanitizer. And he started licking it. <laughs> I was like, what the no, heck it's like that? the Lucas um, little um, the Mexican candy. sugar. Yeah, mm, yeah. Bath and Body Works Thousand Wishes is my favorite snack. Yeah, literally. Like, <laughs> like that's my hand that's sanitizer. My, that's my yummiest. Uh, it thing. looks like those little like, the things you see like girls carry like attached to the backpack or something. The small. <laughs> yeah. <hand sanitizer. laughs> Maybe oh, they are. That's off topic. That's. I've yeah. been I've been having some like you know how some people on TikTok make soap. Those look <laughs> really edible at times. I'm just like oh yeah. like fudge what? like a fudge brownie. Yes. Oh my god. I gosh. just like I'm just like dang. Wonder what that feels like. That's making bite, me you know? uncomfortable. Wow. It's like. It looks too much like food. I'm like, how are you gonna bathe with something that looks like food? Nah, I wouldn't be able to do that. It feels like weird. shaving cream. <laughs> like you ever just like, it just looks like so much like whipped cream. You just wanna. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> but you know those old man shaving cream that like they take the little fancy brush. They have the wi- the f- mm, I almost said whipped cream. a whisk. The shaving cream. No, uh-huh. no, the fancy oh, like brush. The brush. Like they go mm-hmm. like this, and then they like and then they go like yeah. this, and then they go like still do it on their face. I'm like dang, I wonder what like I wonder you know in some world where everything <laughs> was food like. You know? Like cloudy and chance of meatballs no. and stuff, where <laughs> I mean you could just eat anything around you, really quickly. Like what would this ta- what would this table you taste like? Would it taste like chocolate or like a cracker? A or graham what? cracker, like a, a graham massive cracker. graham cracker. That's facts. Or like okay, I feel like this chair would kind of taste like a gummy bear. Like no, it's just like cake. I feel like it. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Let, hear me out. Like she a gummy bear, right. but like the ones that are like <laughs> opaque that are, aren't clear. That they're like a little bit like like um has like little bubbles in it. I guess if that makes sense. Yeah, so no, but okay, then nobody knows what I'm talking about. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to know. Well, that was our hot takes episode with two boys that were very um, um, non opinionated uh, no, and very neutral. I mean, opinions. I'm just Matthew boring. had a few strong opinions on sure. milk, water, and dogs. Yeah. So I think that counts. Mm. Especially the milk one. I still can't get over that. <laughs> and that's why he's not being a host. Wow. <laughs> that's why we're no. kicking him out and you won't be seeing him in any future episodes you so can't say goodbye now before podcast because then you're like you're gonna be all like <laughs> you're gonna get mucus uh, in your throat okay i forget <laughs> <laughs> anyways so i hope you enjoyed this episode make sure to tell us your favorite summer hot take like um mm-hmm. your favorite put in <laughs> <laughs> like give us your opinion on like what you think about what we said if you have all a small right. business tell us because um <laughs> We never have any. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, but thank y'all. Thank y'all for listening. Have a good summer, and I hope it's not too hot for you and you're not uncomfortable because of how warm it is outside. (laughs) I hope that you thrive in this hot weather. Yeah, period. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. Bye. Bye.